Hiya guys, and welcome back to a brand new series of Surviving Project Zomboid. As promised, this series is going to focus on Thuztor's absolutely brilliant Vacation Island mod. We've just spawned in, as you can see. I really don't know where we are or what is around us. So, let's start exploring, I guess. Take the book, we'll take the bedsheet. Bedsheets come in really handy. You can uh, block the light out of the windows without having to make noise using wood to board it up. As you can see straight away, there's already loads of new uh, tiles which those tools added in. Potted plants in there for starters. I'm sure we shall see a lot, lot more. Sorry I didn't manage to get this out to you as early as well, guys. I had already recorded one series on Vacation Island and to my horror I came out of the game checked the traps footage which had failed so I was absolutely gutted so I gave myself a day off and then I started again and this is what you can see in front of you is now oh look at that cactus in the corner as well great loads of different types of potted plants it was brilliant furniture as well made out of bamboo some pictures on the walls. I've got a barbecue outside. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go through these cupboards. I'm going to leave food in the fridge until I find a safe house that I want to use. Because I normally take too much food out of fridges and I run around with it too long and end up with a lot of uh, off food whereas if I leave it in the fridge to start off with until I need it there's a very good chance it'll stay fresher longer just gone hungry there now so we'll grab a bite to eat oh well we can't of that that will do lovely tell you what let's take the carrots and the veg. What's that? Oh, it's coconut. We'll take the coconut as well. We'll leave the rest in there. Because well, obviously we're going to eat the carrots and stuff raw. Oh, look at that. It's a hot tub. <laughs> That's great. That's absolutely brilliant. I'm right at the edge of the map. There is only the one cell at the moment. Um, Thuzzstor does have a second cell um, complete, but at the time of going to record this, um, it did. It was a little bit buggy, so sometimes it wouldn't actually load up and you moved across into the cell. Or if you started off in that cell, it would start off fine, and then um, you would come into this cell, and when I tried to go back into the other cell, that's when it would fail again. But hopefully you'll have that bug fixed pretty sharpish, and we will have a second cell to play on in Vacation Island. Judging by what I've, what I've already seen from this one cell as well, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous and brilliant. This hot tub's got no water in. Nice to see different tiles for with water and without. Now this is a lot quieter than my first playthrough. Um, the first one, like I say, it failed. But I was running around the house that I actually spawned in. Within about 30 seconds in real life of spawning into the building, um, there was literally, what, eight to ten npcs all running around the building as well all trying to join each other and i was trying to join them some of them are saying yes but then they're getting asked by somebody else and they were saying yes to get them as well so basically i just tried to talk to everybody try to get as many people as possible to join me and then uh, ran outside ran to a different house and waited for a few minutes to see who turned up but we haven't seen any npcs at the minute not a problem though hopefully they're on the other side of town making a lot of noise to draw all the zombies away from me and towards them. Like a dishwasher or something there as well, that's great that. Again, just taking out a few of the, oh kiwis, <laughs> nice. Taking out a few of the uh, the stuff that we don't need to cook. Oh shit, 10 to 8. Luckily I'm already in the house. Try and make our way upstairs if there is one. Yeah, I see stairs just there, barely. 
get all these bed sheets. Like I say, they're coming really handy. There's quite a few kicking around as well, which is good. Right, that's the door out to the patio. Don't want to go out there. Where does this lead? Ah, here we go. He has a bedroom. Awesome new bed by Fuzztor as well. To be honest, I think I'm going to be saying that all series. Every time we're running around seeing something new, I'm going to be saying, oh, there's another brilliant new tile. Because <laughs> they are, all of them are absolutely brilliant. Like, even down to the, like, look at this multicolored rug on the floor. It's great. Really like it. Pick up these nails. Get a couple of pens. Christ, there's a few pens in there. And pencils. Bloody hell. Tissues as well, yeah. Could do with some tissues. And it's half nine. I don't really want to go to sleep yet, but... There we go. Just got hungry. We'll have something to eat first. Get well fed. Why not? Very well fed. Very long healing and strength boosts. Sounds good to me. It's coming up at 10 o'clock. So we'll have ourselves an early night. Probably wake up a little bit too early. Yeah, just like I thought. It's quite hard to tell how dark it is outside sometimes. Because there's that many street lights. Um, the main roads are always completely lit. As if it's a uh, daytime. But that's no big deal. We're getting bored because we've been inside too long. I did pick up some books. There we are. Boredom cured. Oh, look at this games room. A little bar in it and everything. Snooker table. That's the room I was already in. This is a kids, oh yeah, a kids room with bunk beds. Awesome. Check this last room. Yeah, it's the bathroom, of course. Tell you what, open this back window. I'll we'll go onto the beach until it gets a bit lighter. Nice morning jog along the white sands of Vacation Island. Oh, dead Zeds. Zeds dead, baby. Zeds dead. No, not many people in sight. A couple more coconuts on the floor here. Pick those bad boys up, and then I'll quickly show you what we can do with these. So open up the crafting window, drop a coconut in, or three of them. Drop the nails in. There we are, we've just crafted three items, which are open coconuts. And as you can see, they take off a little bit of hunger, but quite a bit of thirst. You can drink the coconuts, well, you know, drink the milk out of the coconut once it's open. Then I do believe you can bash it open with a hammer or something. And then eat the coconut that's obviously left inside. Whoop. First few Zeds here. Take these bad boys down. Oh shit, missed. Nice. Exerts are quite quickly. But hopefully we'll uh, recover in time before he comes to it. Yeah, we'll have. Eat it. Oh, shit. Push him away, man. Get away. That's better. Whoa, survivor. Hello, dude. Well, there's loads of them. Team up. I'm gunning for them, buddy. Good to hear. Yes, it is. I'm clear in this patch of town. Good call. So I like to hear. I'll watch your back. That's not very nice. Get lost? What? Oh, well, he's staying with us. Go on, take him out. Yeah, Axeman. 
Who are you? I need some help taking down these dead guys. You want to join us? Or what? Hell yeah. Well, you say that, but you're running away. Obviously too scared to deal with these zombies. And your flight mechanism. Oh shit, get away, get away. Quickly, quickly. Surely you can walk faster than that. Oh shit, I'm far too exerted. What's going on? I'm in pain. I'm shocked. I'm overburdened. Jesus Christ, that was close. Get out of here. Are you... Oh, I'm annoyed. Thank God for that. I thought I was actually in pain there. Well, however, if I'm annoyed, I should be annoyed. Ah, right, yeah, that's okay, yeah. Okay, I see it. I can still be, uh, indifferent. Because I'm not very annoyed. I get you, I get you. Nice beachside bar here. It's a restaurant even, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, can I have a booth, please? Well, this isn't very good service. Where's the door host at? Dude. Anthony. What? Talk to me like that, scum. The wall is still going backwards as well. Love it. Oh, and you. There's another one. Right, you're already with us. Cool. This way, dude. Oh, look at this. We've hit the jackpot, guys. Axe. Love it. Let's get that in there instead. Sweet. Another axe there. I think you've already got an axe, haven't you? Oh, hello. Right, you're on my team as well already? Yeah, cool. So, these are the guys who agreed to join me. They did run off at first because there was too many zombies in sight for their liking, so they got a bit scared. Luckily, though, they've got a built-in tracking devices, so once their panic has died down, they can come back and find me, no matter where I've gone. Obviously, they don't really, but, you know. Right. It's 23, so we've got a little bit of time left, but I wouldn't mind finding a semi-permanent base. Obviously, because we are only uh, locked to one set, is that a straw? Oh, that's right, yeah, you can drink, uh, I think you can put the straw in the coconut, I believe. What the, what the, I don't want to do that. Yeah, coconut with a straw, love it. Coconut up with straw. Unhappy. There's boredom and unhappiness as well as hunger and thirst. I like it. Let's have that. Hasn't done much from your hunger, but we do have some carrots to chomp on. What, what, what do I keep doing that for? Okay, carrots uh, aren't doing anything from your hunger. Why the hell is that? Bread, please. Thank you. Let's top this up. And we'll have a bit of kiwi for dessert. Angry. Yeah, we're still angry. Can only respond angrily. We're very tired. We did get up at 5 o'clock, I suppose. Quite a heavy load. Alright, how then, guys? Hey, I haven't seen any crisps for ages. What's this? What was that? Oh, it was a hammer! Love it. Surprised that was still there, actually. NPCs normally take those as quickly as possible. We'll get the pie and the crisps. Was that whipped cream? <laughs> I like it. Gets rid of boredom and unhappiness a little bit as well. 
course it does. With whipped cream should always do that. God knows it does in real life. I've got a shit ton of crisps and pie now anyways. That should keep it going for a little while. Lots of uh, light food to carry. We already had quite a heavy load anyways, but it's not too bad, I suppose. What's this? So we've just come out with a big store, big shopping centre. Invader's store. That's all it's about. What the fuck? That's another Lara Croft, is it? It is! It's Lara Croft! That's amazing. Die, Lara. Die. No. And she's invincible. She's indestructible, so we'll leave her be. Got some posters here. Is that Red Dead Redemption zombies or something, possibly? Starcraft. 